Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of Underrail Expedition. This is Colonel RPG as usual, and I'm very happy that you're supposed to join me today in the morgue. It's a com complicated thing, uh, and we have things to do, and it's all going to be amazing and, uh, and great. So we're talking to men. Death lives here. Welcome to the morgue, ma'am. Uh, but I have not chosen death. No, you chose to ignore him. Him? Dr. Mason. Everyone died. No one lived. Yet he is unable to settle. It's his mind, you see. It is exceptional. He can reach other minds, minds like yours. You are the first to approach him in a long time, ma'am. Uh, and you? I am but a vessel, a servant. Not his, but yours. I am the link. Even though you ignored him, a link between you two has been established. Why did I get those visions? Communication. It can only reach you through your mind, and only through emotions. Uh, sh sure. Why me? There is no one else, ma'am. It's a good point, actually. Wh what about the other servants? They are just like me. I am simply the one closest to him. What now? Resolution, ma'am. I'm ready. He desires, yearns for resolution. He chose death a long time ago. You ignored him. Even if you wanted to help him now, you cannot. Uh, why can't I help him? You cannot endure it. The link is close to being severed. He can no longer reach you properly. Mm, why, do I, why am I having these options here? Because we don't know who he is. So, why would I care? Eh, I don't care about... Yeah, it's fine. Whatever. I understand. You cannot help him anyway now. Yes, a little bit of sour grapes, to be fair, but still, it's the worst grapes. The grapes that I don't know. I want the grapes that I know. What's the next step, then? I will enter his chamber. You will stay behind. The link will be severed, and after that you will be free to leave. Nothing else can be done, for your will was too strong. And after this... It will be even stronger, ma'am. I do uh, enjoy a good, uh, strong ma'am will. Um, it's worth pointing out that they say ma'am is a matter of flavor. It's not just a quirk of the writing or anything. It's it's the it's, it's a characterization of the characters. Uh, I'm not I'm not poking fun at the writing. I'm just poking fun at the the characters, I suppose. Yeah, um, I want to go in. I can endure it. You will go in. I will lead you into his chamber. He will help you with the rest, ma'am. And when you leave that chamber, you will emerge different. Finally. Resolution, says the narrator, through my own line. Follow me and stay focused. Yes, I can, I can. Uh, that's curious. Oh. Okay, well, uh, I guess that explains it. <laughs> I was going to say, why does he leave without me in a cutscene? Because I was expecting to manually go there. Oh boy! Lots of uh, red paint over there, ain't it? Mm hmm. You leave the morgue, shaken up by fleeting memories, as though you've woken up in the middle of a dream and trying to grasp at its fading contents. The first few steps you remember vividly, for each was marked with a pulse of immense piercing headache. It was of. A uh, yes, of immense headache. Such, a, such great headache. It was not the horror you were seeing. It was not the stench you were inhaling, neither the sinister re reverberations, nor the acidic taste you had in your mouth. It was all of this condensed into emotion that seeped through your skull and rooted itself into your mind. But with pure determination, you kept your sanity and focus on reality and your goal. The mass of flesh shifting and moving and trembling before you was seemingly al alive, begging not to be. Its hollow voice came from within your head, rambling about its troubled existence, every bit permeated with the desire for true for death. True death. And this death you granted. The method you don't remember, but the more you stare at your blood-drenched self, the more fragmented memories of this being's gory death start flashing before your eyes. Gushing blood, raping flesh, oozing slime, and everything else. After all of this, you found yourself outside with a clear mind, if not necessarily a clear coat, a passing headache, and uh, a, 
utter desensitization to body horror. Great. I... That is fantastic. I have gained body horror. Which is an unfortunate name for what was just described as immunity to it. But what is this body horror? Uh, I hope it's good. But it should be for willpower or something. I can't find it. It's a feat, though. I can never find anything, so it's it's fine. Uh, where is it? Thick skull. Body horror is right at the stop. At the start. After what you have seen, you'll never look at the fleshly form the same again. Okay. Uh, critical hit chance with weapons and unarmed attacks gain uh, against humans and non-insectoids increased by 3%. Resolve reduced by 30. I want my resolve high. What? I don't even know where resolve is. This feat was acquired outside leveling. No. No, I don't want that. Hmm. I... Resolve is a stat. Resolve... Where can I see that? How can I see my armor, for example? How can I see what level of armor I have? I can't. That's not a screen in this game. Unless it's up here or something. No, that's character sheet. Oh, there it's. Um, yeah, I, I, I have no idea what a resolve is. 240. Increases the chance to resist some negative status effects such as stun and incapacitation. Yeah, I didn't do anything for my will. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through all these options again, as I did before. And uh, I'm going to say I'm ready. I'm going to ask the same questions. Very well, I'll stay behind. Finally. Yeah, I'm not really sure what's going to happen with the staying behind, though. Goodbye. Best of luck in the future. Yes, to you as well and your family. Stay inside. That joke is not going to make sense if you are not watching this when the video goes up. It doesn't. It barely makes sense right now. Well, I, I would rather not have the result, the the body horror thing. I I really don't care for it. Um, but well, I guess that's that. He specifically said that I was gonna get Will. Huh. I I don't know what's up. It's fine. I think. I hope. We got the MRI. We got things that we didn't do. Oh, actually. I say we got things that we didn't do. We might have the... No, we don't have the electronics. Let's mark this as uh, electronics required. I'm really not a fan of how it keeps doing that little tick -tick 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 noise even when you're... Or just when you're holding the shift key. Because it makes me want to... It makes me want to uh, to write things fast. That's basically... Something happened, though. Ah, oh, come on. Oh, over here. You feel a mild headache, but it's gone in an instant. That is... I don't think that's what's qualified as a headache. You hear cries coming from where? From from where? From the walls. Uh, well... There are things that I didn't find... Something's blocking you from the other side. Cries coming from the walls... There's that door over there that doesn't open. What am I doing wrong? This door won't budge. It feels like something is blocking from the other side. I don't think I'm doing anything wrong. I think I, I, I did I, I did what I had to do. So we're just... Yeah. Headache doesn't mean your head hurts for a second. It's a specific thing that happens... Or it's, it's like a pathology thingy. You know, you don't have a headache if I... If you're... Like you feel a pinch in your the back of your head. That's not a headache. Um, at least as far as I know, anyway. I'll feel free to correct me in the comments. I found a microchip. Uh, yeah, yeah. So we did all the things that we had to do over here. Mm -hmm. And then over here. Investigate the Lemurian and then report the findings. Now we need to go to F12, which is going to be a jolly good old the ex expedition. I just will check over here, because cause I don't know. But we definitely don't have anything or anybody over there. I didn't realize we couldn't leave, by the way. I suspect we could. And maybe it was just, you know, faulty programming <laughs> or something. Uh, also, I have a bunch of batteries, hopefully. Uh, oh, yes, I do. Charge. Oh, we have even more than we had, I think. 
um, when uh, when we were charging that that Mega Man person or whatever, Death Man, Life Man, he volatile, he just di died or something. Um, okay, we're good, and we have electronics required over there, which is fine. Uh, and now we need to go to F12. Now, right now we're at I. F would be this one. And since that is 6, that it means that 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Oh. I like that place. Let's explore more before we we go there, but I like that place. That's the place that we couldn't access because we didn't have the, uh, the correct bio thingy majiggy. Um, and I think maybe now, let's just save the game. Maybe now that I have implanted the thing on me, things are going to be a little bit easier. And it's just going to be... Uh, oh yeah, it's you. Totally you, for sure. So that's oh this this is free to, for this is good for me to take. Uh, I can't go up there though. They're called pinners and chuckers. I don't know what to call what to say. Okay, so we can't do anything with that, but we can do something with this. And it looks like there's a passage back there. And now that we're in fast mode, things are good, and we have access to the to land through there. And we're back at exploration. I really enjoy... I do I do enjoy the exploration uh, in this game. And uh, I, I, I wish it were a little bit less exploration on the water, honestly. It's a fun thing in this, uh, in this expansion. But, uh, yeah, I wish, I wish there, was a little, there were a little bit less. Because uh, things are very, very distant. The game definitely is designed with... Um, Oh, there's things back here. There's a dead hermit crab. Hmm. The pirates didn't like me. Okay, well, let's make sure that they don't find me. Um, I was going to say something. Yeah, the game is designed with... Um, tr it tries to make sure you don't... Oh, yeah, those guys don't are not mad by default, which is basically all that I needed. I just can't allow them to see me. It's designed so that you you basically your time is also a currency in the gameplay, and th I hate that honestly. Uh, I get past that as a, a let's player very very easily uh, because I just make cuts, and for me it doesn't count if I'm not recording because you know whatever it doesn't matter. If I'm not recording, I'm not playing the game, um, so I can just enjoy the game as if as if my time wasn't a currency. But it it that's not you know it's making cuts is not as easy when it comes to well, exploring places that uh, that you haven't explored already. Now we got Katia back here. Katia is aggressive. Why? Mental subversion. Well, Katia, I'm very sorry to have to do this to you. But you're going to have to die. Also, you hurt me. Oh, there's a pit bull. No, <laughs> they're not pit bulls. They're pit bulls, if you know what I mean. They're not dogs. They're bulls. It, which I I know for a fact is the case because this game errs on the side of uh. There, there's a word for for. It. I know they sound like dogs. They're not. Um, there's a word for it for when you coagulate two words two words together. That's not coagulate is not the word. For it, am I regenerating? I am definitely not. That's fine. Um, because this game, instead of saying death man, it says death man, which means that the pit bulls would be called pit bulls because it's all one word, right? Mm, yeah, I don't know if I need that over there. That meat is all in. I also don't know if I'm gonna stick with this, by the way, stick with this uh, result. Because maybe Katya is an important person. I doubt it. Or maybe she's only accept. What are these boots? Why are there boots back here? And why do they suck? Give me good boots if they're gonna be just be laying around. Um. But maybe she's with the pirates or something. We got a fishing rod. We got a pirate. Okay, that's that's bad news. Because once that pirate starts shooting, all pirates start shooting. Uh, and I guess all pirates are going to die is what's going to happen here. Hmm. Yeah. 
Now you're a little bit on fire. Tough luck. No, you're not on fire, but it's fine. Yeah, we're gonna kill all the pirates. They don't seem to matter too much. So we're just waiting for them? I suppose I could sneak. Nope, I can just do that. Can I get the box? Oh, come on. Oh, you jerk. Of course, they never miss. Ever. The grenades, I mean. Hmm. That is... That is oh, no. Oh, and now things are on fire around me. Much botherment. Pretty good. Pretty good. How about this? No? Okay. Uh, how about this, then? And now I do this. Hmm? Oh, yes. Much better. Much better. Please don't run away. I just wanted to be friends. You pirate shotter. He's literally a pirate shotter. Okay, the this the translation for this area was done by a different person. I Seriously. He was a pirate shotter. He is a pirate shotter. That's an easy mistake to make, by the way. Um, one that I have personally made myself um, in the past, obviously. Because I'm very good at and know all the things. <laughs> I'm kidding. Uh, oh, no, don't hurt. Baby, don't hurt me. Um, yes, uh, so... Yeah. The tr definitely translated by a different person. Or in a different day. Maybe maybe they were feeling under the weather or something. Because we have the, the bulls from the pit. And then we have the shotters. And uh, I don't even know what a shotter would be. Uh, how would you even... What is that in reference to? A shotter. Somebody who shots, right? But mm, I'm not sure that that's proper. Like, I'm not even sure because "shot" to shot is is not a, a an actual English word. But I'm not even sure if that is if that it could be. To because what would be the operative name for somebody who shots? Would it be a shotter? I suppose. Anyway, we got a boat in bottle. Was the boat built inside it, or was the bottle fashioned around it? It's uh, it's really easy if you don't if you've never seen. It's not really easy. It's really difficult. <laughs> if you've never seen anybody build boats inside of a bottle. Uh, we found something over there. We found a bridge. Uh, by all means, look it up because it's really cool. And more importantly, get yourself a kit and do it yourself. It's really cool and not that difficult. Because mo well, it depends on how dexterous you are with your fingertips. But there's a, there's a lot of things that are a lot harder. Uh, like, for example, playing the guitar um, in terms of finger fingerling, fingering and other things that I probably shouldn't talk about. Um, well, we're jumping down. I don't know what this is in reference to, but I think maybe it's coming back from there. Well, either way, the pirates are all going to die. And the next few episodes are going to feature us killing them all. Because, you know, of course. And me not taking the loot is definitely going to speed the process along. This is not my fault. It really isn't my fault that the pirates decided to shoot me due to me being in their territory. We got a trapdoor over here. I said a trapdoor, not a ladder. I wanna stuff what just wanna to see things. But of course, this also means that um that we are likely to find more experience. Killing everybody, as it turns out. Really good decision. Really good decision. In in in, in this game. Uh <laughs> Uh, let's see, which, all because of the oddity system, although it's not all because of, that's not true, because the oddity system doesn't act, ooh, pickled mind shrooms, I will take those, thank you very nice, thank you very nice, under pine, no, I don't need that, uh, pentapus barbecue, no, uh, what I uh, mean to say is that the game doesn't actually reward you for uh, hoarding all the, all the oddities, because you cap out, you don't need to collect all the oddities in the game to reach maximum level. If I remember correctly. At least I remember reaching maximum level in the uh, original game. And uh, in my... In the original game, I say as if I'm not playing the original game. This is the only under rail. What I mean is um, in the original Let's Play. And um, and I didn't I didn't get all the oddities. I didn't even go... High density? No, that's not very good. Uh, although, I'll take that because it's fine. I might need it. I didn't even go to the... Uh, to the um, the forge in my original let's play 
I could have gone to. The game doesn't actually end before you acknowledge it to end. You can kill the last boss and um, and not end the game, which is good. It's just really good. But I didn't do it because, it, you know, well, actually, if it were these days, I probably would do it. But back then, I just did smaller, smaller Let's Plays, really. And I was more concerned with the pacing of the... Uh, of the let's play then with completing everything because it was a blind playthrough you know how it is so let's jump down that r rabbit hole and uh see if we can uh, sh shot these shutters and maybe uh bull some pits or something or other i'm sneaking that's why i'm so slow we gotta climb up over here we gotta climb down right there that i don't know why i didn't do let's stop the sneak uh, we also don't have auto saves when i transition those areas so i need to save them or save manually. We got some things over here. Hmm. Oh. Oh, that's kind of cool. Yeah, it's just a little place. Possibly a way to avoid being attacked by the pirates? I could see that happening. That not taking me anywhere is a bit concerning, though. It is a bit concerning. Anyway, we're going over here. Definitely not going to get killed. I'm just going to save again just in case. Uh, I didn't open that, even though I should have, because that's how you got to that thing, and now all the pirates and their cousins are going to attack us. Grenades are re Oh, it's another shotter! Ah! Um, it's, um, grenades are really the only legitimate threat that we're under, because ballistics, it's our, that's our beach, that's where we are. Anything that shoots at us, we're good. So that shotter over there... Looking very weird up there, to be fair. Uh, is now dead. Okay, with a little bit of uh, red paint coming out of it. We got people. And we got more bulls. A dome banger. And Ruth. Un unrelated. Why? Stop it. Not even maximum health. Ruth is not having any of this. Got a stormer. We got a pinner. Maybe it is a piner. Okay, that's... I don't like that. I don't like that. Okay, well, uh, I'm gonna need to stop you. So, excuse me. I'm gonna need to burn you. Okay, that was a thing that happened. And we're just gonna stay here, burn ourselves a little bit. And uh, we're taking considerable amount of damage from these dogs. Sorry, bulls. I wonder if they have Dober men, as, as in, you know, men from Dober, because then it would be pluralized as Dober men rather than Dober men, Dober men's, which you wouldn't pluralize actually, because I don't think you pluralize the the breed of the of dogs. Or maybe you do. I don't know. Either way, we are in a, a bind here. Things are not looking up. I uh yeah, this is uh, it's pretty bad. So I'll do this. I'll do this. I'll do this as well. Uh, and I will need to burn these dogs. However, we are burning ourselves, but that's fine. Uh, our next cold ability is cheap. So Donnie, we got a sprayer. These guys don't really matter as much. I don't trust these. Uh, let's see. So that's pretty good. This should kill all the dogs if I do this. Although, that dog over there might not die. So, let's try... Let's try this. Okay. Leave myself a little bit of... Wiggle room. Yeah, I didn't hit that other dog. So, we're gonna take a bunch of damage. So, we're healing. From many things. The dog is biting onto me pretty decently. That dog died. Sorry, I keep calling them dogs. Obviously not... Uh, yeah. We're likely... We're, it's possible that we'll die. I mean, we are regenerating health, but we are also burning. And taking poison. Poison damage. Uh, that's the poison damage. Okay, that's gonna kill me. Aw, what a sh... It didn't! It didn't kill me. I am very surprised. Well, in that case... Excuse me. Oh, you can't... I can't do that? I can. 
You're just lying to me. Um, okay, then I can do a last stand. Uh, which is hopefully going to be enough for many things. I'm going to turn the shield on. And we're going to burn these two bowls down like this. Now, I need to pay attention. It's my next gold ability is cheap, so I'll attack you here. Um, and then I'll try to kill... Ch I can't kill Chalice. Okay, lovely name, by the way. They're all pirates. Let's hope that I can kill the bulls. Uh, I couldn't, so I'm dead. Like... Not yet. That shield is helping out. Okay. Because the next turn, I definitely need to get rid of... Um, of poison. Uh, or maybe it's the turn after. So what we can do... Let's prepare 23 Psy. It's not too bad. How much is that going to cost? 26. That's good enough. Well, I guess it's good enough as long as I land this shot. It's not going to hit me. Bastard! Are they... What, Spanish speakers or something? Cause Spanish has a has that sort of common um This is dangerous. This is really dangerous. I'll do it. Spanish has that really common uh, accent of of removing the last consonant from a from a word. And this is dangerous because even though I do have antidotes I don't know if they will work, and I don't know... They will work, and I'm not on fire, and life is good, and we're out of time. So for right now, I'm Colonel RPG, and this has been Under Rail Expedition. I really hope you've enjoyed it, and if you did, go ahead and leave a comment, like the video if you want to see the next episode come out sooner rather than later, but above all, thank you so much for watching, and I hope I'll see you next episode. Bye-bye.